Hi, I'm Dr. Cynthia McDonald. I'm a staff podiatrist at SciMed Health, and I work in Gainesville and Chiefland. There are uh, chronic conditions that we treat, such as diabetes, but there are also acute problems that we treat. Uh, those apply to foot pain, heel pain, and ankle pain. There are uh, dermatology problems that we treat as well, such as athlete's foot, we treat warts. Then you get into the nail problems, uh, such as ingrown toenails, uh, fungus nails, uh, and many people will come in and we'll see them with hammer toes, with bunions, with neuromas, and those problems uh, may be treated conservatively uh, or they may be treated with surgical intervention. Yes, absolutely. In 25 years, I've diagnosed many problems uh, that have helped patients uh, go on to see specialists in other fields. For example, patients that have had uh, arthritis problems, problems with rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, have helped them go on to the specialists that they need to help them with these problems. In addition, patients with circulatory problems where they've needed procedures to help them uh, increase the blood flow in their legs. Uh, patients that have had complications with their diabetes, we've been able to help them improve that problem. Uh, in one case, I've been able to identify malignant melanoma in a big toenail. So there's several contributions to foot pain. Uh, most people don't realize the number one is probably the, your genetics or what you're born with. Everybody's born with a different foot type and it's not necessarily the shoes you wear or what you did in the past if you ran around barefoot or you wore the wrong shoes. So most people will blame themselves for that and that's not necessarily the case. Um, the second being your activity, the job you do, um, the sports you participate in, the activities that may impact your life every day. Um, the third one would be the shoes that you're wearing. The fourth would probably be if you had had an injury uh, that may impact uh, your feet. Focus on the things you can change, such as good foot health, good nutrition, stretching, pay attention to your shoes. But if things don't, like that don't help, maybe it's time to see your professional. In the office, we evaluate you, you may need an x-ray, you may need some physical therapy, you may need some medication. Uh, if you're agreeable, maybe an injection. Yeah. Additionally, other tests such as MRIs or follow-ups to other specialists may be needed. Uh, and lastly, surgical intervention may be necessary to treat the problem. Yes, it's good to manage your overall health. Being active, good nutrition, it's good to manage your chronic conditions, and uh, if you do all these things, you'll manage your overall foot health.